person in this house, those that are watching us online, you are all welcome, you are all greeted, and you are going to be blessed this morning. Hallelujah. Uh, there are many songs that are running in my spirit. Maybe we will sing them uh, later if I remember. Um, it's quarter past ten. We will finish at three today uh, because I'm going to preach for a long time. <laughs> no problem. <ne? laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Last week we spoke about uh, being fruitful. We said what? We said to be fruitful, fruitfulness comes from, talk to me, fruitfulness comes from faithfulness to God. You need to be faithful to God even when things are difficult. It is easy to be faithful to God when things are fine. When you know that month end, Fonia Howe will report that salary has come, it's easy to be faithful to God. Hallelujah. But when times are difficult, that is the right time to show that you are faithful to God. Hallelujah. We have seen the life of Joseph. We looked at the life of Joseph that he was thrown in a pit. He was sold as a slave. He was taken to prison. But because of faithfulness, at the end of the day, he was the prime minister of Egypt. And then we said faithfulness comes from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has been deployed to come and help us. We cannot do other things without the Holy Spirit. The Bible says when the Holy Spirit shall come upon you, you shall receive power. We need that power to live in times like this. Hallelujah. And then the last one, then we said faithfulness comes from closeness with God. We read from John chapter 15, verse number 5 up to 7. To summarize it, it says you are chosen to be fruitful, to bear fruits. And God is glorified when we bear fruit. Hallelujah. Now, basically, fruitfulness means becoming productive. God has made us to be able to produce results. Hallelujah. To be fruitful, to be productive, and to have that potential. Remember what is potential. Potential means you have the ability to do something. That is potential. You are like a bomb, a bomb that is in a shelf. Uh, you are like a what? A bomb that is in a shelf. It has potential to explode. But for it to explode, it must be activated. There the, the, are these old bombs. The old ones, they were roundish thing like this. And it had something, you must pull it and then launch it. Then it will explode. Hallelujah. If you don't pull that thing, what do we call that thing? Is it a detonator or a key or something? Say what? Detonator. You pull the detonator, you launch the bomb, then the bomb will explode. Because the bomb has what? Potential. Now, when God created man, Genesis chapter 1, it say, it, the Bible says, God blessed them. What did he say? Be fruitful and multiply. It means God has put a level ground for all of us. We all have the ability, the capability, and the possibilities of being fruitful and to multiply. But not all of us are going to be fruitful and multiply. Why? It depends on what do you do with the potential that you are given. If you do nothing, complaining all the time, speaking negative all the time, Guess what? You won't be productive. When you go to work, you complain. You see the parking, you complain. You see the colleagues, you complain. You see the building, you complain. You won't be productive. Hallelujah. I'm always saying these days that as the church, I'm encouraging you. Do what I call a side hustling. 
and I've been explaining it, what is side hustling? I say side hustling is the business that you passionately do on the side whilst you are keeping your job. Because these days you don't know what they will say on Monday when you arrive at work. Hallelujah. Especially those businesses that wanted to retrench all along. These days they have an excuse. What is the excuse? COVID. They just say COVID. Due to COVID, we are releasing you. COVID editing. It's just the excuse they have. Others, it's true, their businesses are really beaten big time. But others, it's just an excuse. Hallelujah. Now, if you are doing a business on the side, I call it side hustling, pushing it passionately. If they tell you on Monday that ah, we are releasing you, you just say to them, you don't know what you are saying to me. Hallelujah. And because I'm saying that not all of you are going to do anything about it. Only one, two, three, four, five. Or even one will do something about it. But the potential to be fruitful and to multiply. If you hear me say amen. When God bless men, he said what? Be fruitful and multiply. That means we all have the potential. But if you do nothing about it, it remains potential. You have to do something about it. If you don't, it remains what? Potential. Talk to me. If you don't do anything about it, it remains what? potential we are all having the potential to be fruitful and to multiply but if you do nothing about it nothing will happen amen now now today i want us to look at the word productivity i said fruitfulness means productivity we are able to produce results in whatever thing we are doing. That means when you are married, it is your responsibility to make sure that your marriage works. Both you, husband and wife, make sure that it works. Because if it's only one person, it becomes very difficult. It becomes very difficult. But if both of you are trying, I'm telling you, you are going to get old together and then you will enjoy marriage. Your ring, this thing must not be a bondage. It must be something that you enjoy. Your marriage must be something that you enjoy, not something that you endure. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Enjoy your marriage. And you must do something for you because God has given you the potential to be productive and to multiply. It means you can make your marriage a a heaven for you and your family. Hallelujah. Remember, we are married from different backgrounds. I'm a cause I'm married to Endebele. Mm. When they talk sometimes, I think they are insulting because it's their language. Agir. <laughs> let's say let's say you are from Eastern Cape and you marry from from where? A cause in a Shangan, it's a big problem. It's a big problem. Because a cause thinks other people, it's like a Zulu. They think other people are animals. That's what apartheid created. We still blame apartheid today, again. <laughs> because they separated us. They made us to be groups. I was saying to other people last week, I think we must come up with one language that we can all speak so that we don't say this one is a Shangan, this one is a Zulu, this one is a Kosa, this one is a Mupedi, and so on. Let's speak one language so that tribalism can just fade away. That will help us a lot. Hallelujah. But in short, we all have the potential to make things happen. 
you can make your marriage happen even nice. Hallelujah. The problem with married people, they love each other before they get married. They call each other with good names. They walk in the mall before they get married. Again. Bantana, without money, they are able to go out just, just for fun, just to walk and talk and, and bond. But immediately after we are married, we remove all those things. And those things are killing the relationship. We must try our best to keep our relationships moving on. Ah, I don't know why I'm saying it, but I think God is saying something to you. Now, productivity, it's, it's two words there. It's produce and activity. Produce and activity. That's why I'm saying... All of us, we have potential, but no activity, no results. Hallelujah. Complaining won't bring you results. Crying about the, 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 the corruption and crime in South Africa, it won't produce results. But once you do something, results will come. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, those who don't know, South Africa is not the worst country when it comes to corruption and crime. It is because we are a democratic country, we are able to talk freely about these things, therefore we think we are worse. No, we are the best country. I'm telling you, and you won't believe me because you believe the news. We are the best country. There are countries that are worse. You can't even talk about the president. You talk about him now. In the evening you disappear. Nobody will know what happened to you. Just cross one border and, and, and try it. <laughs> you will disappear. But in this country, we have freedom. Hallelujah. We talk as we wish. Even our kids, they can point to a former President Zuma like this. Nothing will happen to them. But cross one border and try it. Nobody will know what happened to you. Hallelujah. Or if you disappear and come back, everybody will be afraid of you. Why? Because they know that where you went, they made you to be a spy. Now when you come next to us, we run away. Yeah. South Africa is the best country. Tell your neighbor. And we must learn to believe on ourselves again. Believe in you. Believe in you. Stop buying things from China. Buy from your neighbors. Our businesses are dying. Why? Because we don't buy from one another. Where do you buy from? Try to buy from one another. Be like Jews. Be like Nigerians. Be like, who else do that? Th those who circulate money. Indians. Be like Indians. You sell shoes, your neighbor sells shoes. When they come here, they don't find what they need. What do you do? You say, just, just, just hold on. Let me check. <laughs> We build one another. Hallelujah. We become more productive. Together, we can be more productive. Hallelujah. Sarang slogans are ANC. Together, we can do more. Again, it's a, it's a, it's a good statement, that one. If, if you are productive, I'm productive, you are productive, we come together in church, we become more productive. Even the day we say, guys, let's build our church, we won't, we won't write letters to Europe. Asking for donations. We know that we can do it. Ah, hallelujah. Now, that word productivity, if we look at two words, what? Produce and activity. Now, be active and produce results. If you are not active, there won't be anything. You will remain only potential. Only potential. You will stay there. Nothing will happen. Hallelujah. I used to be a teacher for 17 years. Then I'll talk to the, our, our managers and the circuit and, and our district managers. I will say to them, stop this thing of promoting good teachers. You remove them from class, 
Put them in an office, Babereka Naka, Le Pampir. Kids are suffering again. I would say to them, leave them in class, just increase their money so that they continue doing best what they know. Ah, my God. Now they take them out from that class, they put them in the office. Next thing, the school is chaos. I don't know why I said it, but it's fine. John 15, verse 16, you need to bear fruit. And let's read it, verse 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask from the Father in my name, he may give you. Next next these things i command you that you love one another bonang bahai to mudimu batlare nebya productive tell your neighbor say neighbor you must be productive and then look at Pro proverbs 20 verse 29 proverbs 20 verse 29 proverbs 20 verse 29 there's a word there that i want you to see the glory of young men is their strength. And the splendor of old men is their gray hair. Now, that means I'm strong and I must be productive. As a young person, look at yourself and say, I have the potential. God has blessed me and I have the strength. I will be productive. Hey, 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 I enjoy this message. I also enjoy it's your problem. I am strong and I can make it. I can be productive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the meaning of that word splendor? Talk to me. I want you to see something. Go to your gadget, check splendor. Splendor, you will see it's a powerful word. Splendor. I'm sending you to your gadget because I want us to work together. Magnificent, another one. Magnificent, another one. Ah, what? so. Why am I having so many words here? Brilliance, magnificent, brilliant. It means. The more you grow up, overly wisdom. Now I'm old, I have wisdom. I can still do what? Be productive. How old? It does not mean you become useless. That's why I don't understand the churches that says when you are 60, you must take pension. I don't understand. Because that's the more we need your wisdom. Because once you are old, that gray hair is splendor. That gray hair is magnificent. That gray hair is wisdom. Hallelujah. That's, that's the more we need you. Now, as you grow up, don't think you are becoming useless. You are becoming more wiser. The young ones have strength. They can do things. Even if they are wrong, they make them happen. Even if they are right, they make them happen. Whatever thing they are doing. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, now, there are three groups of people. Let me, let me remind you the three groups. The first one is the group that wonder when things happen. They wonder when things happen. The second group, those who watch, they are just watching when things happen. But the third one, I like the third one. Those who make things happen, they do it. Hallelujah. When are guy? Look at yourself. guy? Tell me quickly. guy? Talk to me. guy? Do you wonder? Do you watch? Or you make things happen? I hope so. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's look at the principles of making things happen, or people that just do 
it. They just make sure that they do stuff and that stuff happens. Now, the first thing, the first thing is conviction. For you to be able to make things happen in life, you must have what? Conviction. Conviction means you believe that you will do it. You are a star. You are a champion. You are successful. You are not beneath. You are above. You are not the tail. You are the head. You are created oh wonderfully in the image of God. don't look at yourself and you are not sibuku. you are great you are powerful god has deployed the holy spirit in you you have the power of the holy ghost hallelujah what is the book of peter saying you are special you are odd you are peculiar you are a chosen generation. You are special. Look at yourself and see all those qualities in yourself. Be convicted. Have conviction that you will make it. Don't, don't believe that teacher that told you you are a dumb cop. You are, a, you are like your uncle. When they say that you reject, you refuse, you rebuke, you say, I rebuke, I resist, I, I, kiahana, all the languages, it's how deeds. Because when negative words are said against you, never just relax and say nothing about it. Stop them, block them, refuse them, resist those words. Hallelujah. They tell you you will amount to nothing, you say, not me. I'm fearful and wonderfully made in the image of the Most High God. I have the Holy Spirit. I'm peculiar. I'm a chosen generation. I have the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm seated in the heavenly places together with Jesus Christ. All other powers, all other spirits are under my feet. I'm powerful. You resist. You refuse. Wahana. Hallelujah. You cut anything, anything. You tema, machangan bar watema. You tema anything that wants to attach itself to you. Refuse it. Tell your neighbor, say it's my neighbor. neighbor. Hallelujah. You believe in your future. Believe in your future. When you believe in your future, you check even the programs you watch on TV. You don't watch all the rubbish. You check the things you watch on your phone and you even teach your children that we don't watch other things. We only watch things that will build our future. Everything we want, it must be something that will push us to be better. Even relationships, there are relationships that you must cut in your life. Any relationship that push you down, tema. Mm, I feel like preaching now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I read my neighbor. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. means just cut. I like it. I was an evangelist. I did many crusades. Go, 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 north, go. Now I used to like people that speak Shangan and Venda. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I know some words to answer these languages. And I talk a lot about them because my friends in the university were Shangans and Vendas. They taught me Shangan and Venda by fire, by force. Because I'll be with them, they'll start speaking their language. And then, hey, I know nothing. Until I learned. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, now when, when you believe in yourself, believe in your future, believe that you will make it, you check the friends you have, the programs you watch. Hallelujah. Your associations. Your, your, your companies. Some people just move away from them. Especially the negative people. I heard other people saying, you know, Corona is horrible. When they say that, I walk away because I know I won't be killed by Corona. Now I'm going to grow up until I'm over 90 and 100. And me and God will decide which day I'm living. Amen. Hallelujah. I refuse to die young. And I refuse to be killed by the devil. Amen. Did you know that the devil kills? Yes. If churches come and shoot you, you think it's God. No. God is not cruel. It's the devil using people to kill other people. Now I refuse. 
Therefore, you must change the language. Your language must change. If you believe in yourself and believe in your future, change your language. Speak life and life will come. Speak death and death will come. That's why when you are sick, never call that sickness your sickness. No, it's not yours. Some people like flu. Netka may already live voice here change. No flu yangayata. Already the encodia blocker. It's not your flu. You refuse. Mm. I wish somebody was listening today. Number one, number one, the principle of making it and doing it in life. Number one is what? Conviction. You must have conviction. Believe that you will make it. No matter barring. They will see me going higher and higher from one level to another, from one glory to another. Because greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah. That's why even when they say you are redundant at work, they release you. Stop killing yourself and buttering yourself. Look at them and say, Halitur letter. When you arrive home, you put that letter down. You say, God, they gave me this letter. Thank you that you can read. <laughs> and, and then you say, God, show them that the God I serve is able, is in the department of ability. He can change the unchangeable. He can move the unmovable. All things that are impossible with men are possible with God. Show them. And, and, and you say, God, you know I've been faithful to you. God, I've been faithful to you. I walked before you. Remember that prophet that was about to die? God sent another prophet to the prophet and said, go and tell him to, to, to get his house in order. He's about to die. That man turned and looked towards the wall and said, God, you know I walked before you. I don't believe it's my time to go. Then God sent another prophet. He said, go and tell him I'll add 15 years in his life. Are you faithful before God? Now when, when, when something happens, you just turn towards the wall and say, God, you know I've been walking before you. Show them that I have been faithful to you, and you are God. Now, the principle to make it in life, you must have what? Conviction. Don't believe those negative talkers. There are many people that are negative. You say to them, hey, I want to try this business. They say, ah, even your uncle tried it. It did not work. Walk away from such a person. Hallelujah. We want to be surrounded by people that are destiny help us. People that want to see us progressing in life. People that when I trip and fall, they will say, Hey, this is not the end. Rise up and walk. Tutura. Tinta. Baring mazulu. Tintite. Hallelujah. People that are not just going to be begging you, Oh, how shame, how shame. They must say, Hey, rise up and walk. This is not the end. ML, ML. There's no pity party here. Let's go. They take you by hand because they are destiny helpers. Hallelujah. This echo, can you try to sort it out? Number two. Number two. Courage. We are talking about principles to be productive. You, be, you have what? Conviction. You believe that you will make it. Now, number two, it's courage. Courage, you believe that you can do it. You can do it. There's nothing impossible with you because you believe in God. Hallelujah. Have courage to act on your conviction. Remember, we said we all have potential. Therefore, you must have courage to do something. Turn that potential into energy that will produce rights. What? Results. Results. That will produce results. Even if storms are raging, you can still do it. Hallelujah. You can make it in life. Holy difficult. Holy corona. Usabereki. I know, I know a woman where I grew up 
who was not working a itekisetsa ditamati a le faithful go kereke a thaitsa ka chelti ya ditamati at the end of the day she prospered she was able to build a big house ka chelti ya ing ditamati and and god healing tamati but people will come to this one that must be god hallelujah you can be a teacher giving a class who other teachers don't want. But when you stand in front of those kids, who believe that presence of God, they become so excited that they understand you. They pass your subjects. But when other teachers come because they want them, how about you are depressed? Every time they mark their scripts, they take three months just trying to mark because the zero fell. Teachers are like doctors. They don't enjoy seeing kids failing. A doctor does not enjoy seeing his patients dying. They are called to help people. They are like a pastor. A pastor does not enjoy seeing his congregation suffering, people suffering, his neighborhood suffering. They want to see everyone progressing in life. Hallelujah. That's why if you are a pastor, you even take the last money you have, you help other people. When you arrive home, you tell your wife, I gave that money, you said, Go I saw some body. I saw God. But because God is faithful, you won't go to bed hungry. Yeah. I have never seen what? The righteous forsaken. And they are children begging for bread. Just be faithful before God. You will see the hand of God. Hallelujah. Now, for you to be fruitful... For you to be productive, you must have courage. Start a business with nothing. It will work. When you start, it will be difficult. I will need a startup. In some mentality earlier, our government must do something for us. If they do, it's fine. But we don't, we don't depend on them. We depend on our God. Hallelujah. I was thinking the other time, Giri, if I was the president, I was going to fire that minister Wasasa. Ki minister Wasasa or ki minister Wai? Shoo! How can you have people queuing for many days for 350 rent? Ka technology ka na ka na. That's why. That's why now they must put young people go parliament. People that know how to use these gadgets. Mm. If we were a sasa, I agree with you. Kirababa, kirababa, baba sionka. People queue go post office just for three fifty. But then I'm all. I'm gonna post office next to where I'm staying. But then I'm all like about five in the morning. They queue the whole day. Around five, when the post office is about to close, they cut them. They tell them, come again tomorrow. They come, sometimes they say, Auna chele, they go home, money will be here tomorrow. Fire all of them. Get the young people. I think the president is listening. <laughs> Get the young people that know how to use technology. That lady... One minister looks young, but she does things to her to her to fit in. Sure. Mm. Now, you must have courage and refuse to be discouraged because discouragement kills conviction. Once you are discouraged, even your conviction will will be killed. The third thing, the third thing that you must do. In fact, let's read Ezra chapter 10 verse number 4. Ezra chapter 10 verse number 4. Ma katala Ezra chapter 10 verse number 4. I want us look look at the board, look at, look at look at the screen. Look look at the screen, leave your bible, leave your gadget, look at the screen. Let's read one version. It says arise 
for this matter is your responsibility. Now I want to decree and declare that the matter is in your hands. You have to arise and do something. We also are with you. Be of good courage and be of good courage and do it. Hallelujah. I'm encouraging you. When you leave here today, go sit down and put your plans in place and start doing what has been in your spirit all along. Why did God give you that thought that you are having that has been running in your head all along? It means God knows that you can do it. Hallelujah. Arise for the matter is your responsibility. Another scripture will say the matter is in your hands. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever you want to do, just do it. Mm. Sure. Third principle. Confidence. You must have confidence. Confidence means you think you can do it. You have an assurance. Hallelujah. Nagia khona. No, 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 don't do that. You say, I'm going to do it because I know I can do it. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you can do it. The matter is your responsibility. The matter is in your hands. Just do it. There's, the, 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 there's a saying that says, as you think, so you are. how we be as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So is If you think you are nothing, you are nothing. If you think you are great, you are great. If you think you are made and fearfully created in the image of the Most High God, you are just like that. Hallelujah. If you know that you are seated and thinking that you are seated in the heavenly places together with Christ on the right hand side of God and all other powers are under you, all things will be just like that. Hallelujah. Don't agree with that abusive husband or abusive woman that keeps calling you names. Refuse, resist those names. Hana, Hana Gawena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brother's daughter almost died some years ago. I mean, I think it was 2018. The other day I went home, I checked on her. She says, Hey, I like that attitude. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor. I refuse, I resist, I reject, I scatter all the plans of the enemy by fire, by force. I serve a great God. This God is able to do exceeding abundantly more than I can think, more than I can ask. The Bible says his throne is in heaven. The earth is his footstool. His eyes are able to see even under the waters. His hand is not short even to save. He rides on the wings of the wind. He owns the universe. All the cattle on the thousand hills, they belong to him. All the beasts in the field, they are his. All the riches of the oceans, they belong to him. Silver and gold belongs to him. He can change the unchangeable. He can move the unmovable. Now, if God be for us, who can be against us? We are powerful. Powerful. Look at your neighbor, say you are powerful. Mm. Just believe in yourself, know who you are. Have confidence, have conviction, have courage. You will be successful in life. It's like when you fail at school, it does not mean it's the end of the world. Just try again. You will see that you are going to do it. You are going to make it. If your, best, if your business crashes, don't, don't give up. Just try again. It will make sure. It will pomel no matter what. Because we serve a great God. My God. I wish somebody was listening this morning. Mm. 
I feel like preaching like a Baptist preacher. As I was coming in this church this morning, I heard the Lord say, tell them have courage. <laughs> we serve a great God. Number, talk to me, number. Number four, competence. You know how to do it. Last time when I was preaching, I said, I said, once you take the position and you realize that this, I can't do it, like a skill, what do you do? Don't, don't, don't leave the dream again. Develop your skills. Develop your skills quickly. Accelerate yourself and then come back and do what? Pick your dream up and move on in life. Hallelujah. Let's read Psalm 78. You will see what happened to David. Psalm 78 verse 72. Am I preaching right? Psalm 78 verse 72. And David what? David did what? Shepherded them with integrity of heart. With skillful hands he led them. It means David was the best king. He was skillful. Therefore, Liruna, God expects us to be skillful. Bona, 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 bona. Please, man, please. You can't say, I want to start a business. But the book study by Langidi Komiki. Like, it's the comic. Uba lakabo reiter and reiter. Boskit. Liboma. Liska iti raikara lidiba. Liboma. What must you do? You want to do business. What must you do? Read, read your business. Develop your skills so that you are best in what you are doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David shepherded them with skill. Luena, get competent so that whatever thing you are doing, you are best in doing it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there are books you can read. There's no school to raise these teenagers. But there are things that you can read. You can even form groups, study mothers and fathers of teenagers. Remember, teenagers are a problem to us, again, And we are a problem to them. Because when we say to them, don't do that, they say, yeah, no more high queen. That's why I'm saying we are a problem to them and we think baritel like it. Now, now we can develop ourselves, regroup everybody teenagers, one that about the teenagers. What do we do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then regroup. Remember these days, these days when we are looking for jobs, Ilina Libom Meho Hiruaman. Bomme. Now, is into the ajiga, the ajiga is into the ajiga. Kir, bomme ki bona baba berekang, bonda te bana nakoha ya kir. Now, really bonda te. We can abuse them because they feel disempowered. No, we have to find skills on how to handle this situation. What must I do? Remember, it is still your responsibility to take care of your family, whether you are working or you are not. Why? Because God has given you potential to be fruitful and to multiply. Now, as the husband, you are still the head of the family. The only problem, we were raised from 9 to 5. And that thing will never make you rich. 9 to 5, unless if you are corrupt. It will never make you rich. That's why as men, you are not working from 9 to 5, but you must still wake up in the morning, go and do something, and you will see that you will make it in life. Hallelujah. Eskom. That's why it's not chelet. That's why it's not chelet. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. And in fact, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. The person who has been earning more than all South Africans, manager, city manager, Wagutuan. But I think now they revised the salary. The city manager, Watuan, was earning more than everybody in the country. I don't mean companies, again. I mean this. Mm. Now, when you see much of the and the no, no, develop your own skills. I'm the wife, I'm bringing a lot in this house. How do I still handle myself in this house? How to any SML, what a newspaper, what a tap forward. <laughs> I'm trying to say let us be competent in everything that we are doing mm. am I teaching right please be competent look at your neighbor say neighbor be competent hallelujah hallelujah there's not a single one ebuanka ashari. You are not developing yourself. You expect me to teach you to asha. Lena kito asha. Now I'm I'm learning to preach. When I learn to asha, you are an asha. Koruta in sekisa sitting. Develop yourself in that area. You are you are here. You are you are a musician. How do anything that works on your voice? <laughs> Tell your neighbor, say, be competent. How to amo umo worship team maro pela di peanuts amasha tin? We are scratching your voice. You are scratching your voice. I love my pastor. Tell your neighbor, every now I love my pastor. Mm. Number five, the fifth principle. Did we skip something? Which one? Let's, let's run through them quickly. Number one, B. Conviction, number two. Courage, number three. Confidence, number four. Competence, number five. It's championship. That means now you actually do it. You don't put your business plan and put it in a shelf. No. Stand up, do something about it. You can't just be registering companies. Who register the company? Take put a one one on there and on pay microphone more. register the company take and you did nothing about that. Now a champion stands up and do something about it. Hallelujah. I've never seen a company which encourages people not to use their products like ESCOM. It's always telling us, switch off the stove, switch off the pool pump, switch off. What kind of a company are you? You are telling us not to use your products. <laughs> If I was ESCOM, I would say light all the lights in your house because I want you to come and buy tomorrow. Now, don't be like ESCOM. Make sure that we, we, you give us your products. Hallelujah. Be a champion. Tell your neighbor, say, be a champion. Be a champion. Hallelujah. In fact, to win a race, what must you do? You get into a track and you start the racing. Then you will win. If you want to be successful in life, get into this life and start doing something. Then you will be successful. Thank you. Let's all stand. God bless you. Did you learn something? Can we clap hands?